This week's bite-sized bass hacks is about adjusting your subwoofers by ear. Now, usually room correction will get your bass close to where you probably want it, and some people will not touch it from there. That's as far as they'll go, and I understand that. Um, but if you want to get a little bit better performance out of your subs, uh, really the best thing to do is to do what I call adjusting it by ears, uh, just filling in the bass. So. What I do is I, I run through the process of room correction, get everything set up, get everything dialed in, and get it close enough. And then I'll turn down the subwoofers uh, through the AVR uh, subwoofer level, as low as it'll go. And then I'll play music that I'm really familiar with. And I have a, a subwoofer uh, demo list. Um, it's uh, called Quick Subwoofer Demo. It's on Spotify. It's not really quick. It's got quite a few songs on it. But I use those songs to calibrate the subs by ear. And what I do is I play it at a certain level, uh, you know, just at whatever level I'm particularly comfortable listening at. And then what I'll do is uh, I'll slowly dial up the subs until the sound is filled in. Uh, it's it's a, a common problem for people to overdrive their subs and have them be too bassy. And really, you want the bass to be uh, there when it's supposed to be, not there when it isn't supposed to be. So if you're, you're listening to music and you're constantly thinking about the subs, well, then you might have them up too high. Uh, they should be heard only when they're supposed to be heard. Uh, if you're constantly thinking about it, that's kind of a sign of a problem. For example, uh, I had some really bad center channels. Uh, I didn't really find a center channel I liked uh, until I uh, heard SVS center channels. And granted, I'm, I haven't heard every center channel that's out there, but, um, but I always, the, the center channel was always blaring to me. It was always overdone, and I always thought about it so much because it was just I mean, I got to a point where I would take the center channel out of the equation, and I preferred it that way. That's a bad sign. You don't want that. And the same thing is true of subs, no matter how awesome they are. You don't want them overdriven. Uh, so anyway, I go through this playlist, and I'll just you know turn the subs as far down as I can get them, and then slowly dial them up into where the sound just sounds filled in, but not overdone. Uh, and oddly enough, the one song that keeps coming to mind is, um, you know, Boys of Summer from uh, Metallica. It's their new album, and for some reason, everything about that song, I'm able to just dial it in really quick just using that song. I don't know why. Uh, it's, it's a broad range of, of um, frequencies, of course, but I'm able to really just tune everything in because it should be hard-hitting but not overdone. And for some reason, that particular song, is, it's just, I can zero it in really quick. Uh, so, but I will put my, my link to my playlist uh, in the description down below. Uh, I'll also link to that Metallica video. It's on YouTube, so it, it's not even that hard to find. Um, and then you can just play that song. And if the bass sounds really good, but not overdone, you're on the right track. If it's too much and hitting too hard, uh, then you might want to dial it back. And again, this is all personal preference. And so it's what you like to hear, not necessarily what I like to hear or what someone else likes to hear. It's the volume and the levels that you're looking for. And of course, uh, the other thing I think that is important to mention is that uh, I always, even if you're running a lower crossover than 80 hertz, um, I would run it at least 80 hertz, just in order to give your ears the full range of bass uh, so you can hear what your subwoofer's doing. If you're trying to dial in your subwoofer and you've got your crossover set at 40 or 60 hertz, it's going to be nearly impossible to get it right because uh, there's not a lot happening down under those lower frequencies uh, that, it, 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 I don't know, just trust me on that, it's harder. So even if you want to run your crossover lower, uh, run it higher just to get the subwoofer level correct and then switch back to whatever crossover frequency you want and it should be a little bit better balanced than if you were just trying to dial it in uh, using that lower crossover. Uh, but anyway, that's just my thing on uh, how I dial in subs by ear. I've got a longer video I did on it, but I thought this belonged in the bite size bass hacks because to me, it, you know, everyone 
they'll use room correction uh, and, and that gets it close. Um, sometimes, a lot of the times, I think that room correction gets a little bit uh, less space than most people would want to hear. Uh, and again, uh, having dual subs, having deep subs that, that go low enough to where you can actually hear it, uh, that makes a huge difference too. So uh, it, really it's about opening up the base window and things like that, and I, and I guess that's another topic of the video. But you know, regardless of the type of sub and, and all that stuff, this is how I dial them in by ear. And it, it's pretty much, um, it gives you an idea because you don't want it to be overdone and overdriven. Uh, you do that and you're constantly thinking about the subs and it becomes less of, I don't know, you, you want a balanced experience, at, at least I do. Um, so anyway, uh, that's this week's uh, bite size base hack. Uh, again, thanks for watching. I appreciate all the subscriptions. Uh, check out the links down below to that Metallica video, uh, to my uh, Spotify playlist and things like that. And uh, stay tuned. I've got some more interesting stuff coming up. And I uh, really appreciate you watching. And please subscribe.